Hospital when it was cool till I, till I have to fucking go. My session starts at 12 and it's 11 a.m. already. It takes me 20 minutes to get there, or 29 minutes. So this is my last video I'm gonna record and I'm gonna meditate for 10 minutes. Not even 10 minutes, I'm, I think I'm just gonna. I'm, I'm making this genuinely quick, but I wanna talk to you about, about why rejecting people matters. Why rejecting people matters. Hey guys, welcome to my new video. <laughs> why rejecting people matters. I think rejecting people matters, matters so much because rejecting people allows you to gauge where they actually cared about you how much they actually cared about you if you're rejecting someone and they realize that that you they probably thought they they they, they know that you think that you don't value them so much and they come at you with the integrity response and they come at you with the response of which hey i know you rejected me and i know i know that it, it probably was my fault etc etc so how can i change what can i do and if they just hate you and you get rejected for like some arbitrary shit like oh you're asian stupid shit like stupid shit or you're fucking you're you're white some stupid shit like that then it, you and they were and they rejected you perfect because now you just dodged a thing you just dodged a bullet right there but if they reject you over your personality trait you find you annoying this is and that perhaps you are annoying perhaps you you, you ought to change and obviously, I say don't change for anyone, but some people are so obnoxious and some people are so cringe and fucking disgusting to be around. It, like, it often is justified why you, you reject them. Like, how I rejected my gaming friends. And a lot of my gaming friends I rejected. From my PS4 to the PC, I rejected all of them. And there's probably over 30 people. Not even 30, I think it's 50. 50 people that I used to play games with. All right, obviously, in different groups. Like, 10 people here, 10 people there, 10 people here. 3 people here, 5 people here, I used to play games with. Rejected them all. And only some of them have come with an integrity response, and some of them have come back with me trying to shift the th shift them their, their their fucking interest in order to fucking not necessarily not just appeal to me, but to try to get their life in order. And if you told them, guys, I don't want to play video games anymore. I'm gonna have to distance myself to you guys. I don't want to go on the video watch anymore. I would only lose momentum for what I'm doing at the moment, and I am steadily grinding to towards my goals, and steadily grinding towards what I, what I want to do, and. I want you guys to do this too. I want you guys to stop playing the fucking video game. It's not waste your life. If you are playing the video game, make fucking clips. Make a YouTube channel. Make it a fucking name. You can join an org. You can make money out of this shit. Imagine you make money out of playing fucking video games. Of course, it isn't the best career, but it's infinitely better than working some fucking customer sales job, fucking sales job, or at some fucking desk, office job that you fucking hate. At least. With video games, you're just you're you don't you don't like hate it too much, and of course you like it in the beginning. Yeah, I play video games for a living, but then for, at some point you'll be like numbing yourself, and then time passes by incredibly quickly. But at least you get fucking paid for it. Fade gets paid like a hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred dollars. I think I'm only I get it, five times a hundred is like five hundred dollars. No, I got him like I saw about two hundred subs in in a day, so two hundred subs is like a thousand dollars a stream. He's getting paid 1k per stream on a daily basis. That's 365k a year. Purely on that 1k. But obviously it fluctuates. I think it's pretty much like 100k, 200k. I think he makes like 10k a month. Fade. He makes 10k a month off of streaming. Obviously ad advertisers as well. Subscribers. Sponsorship deals. If it's with the org. Um, he's, with, he's in a group TCR. I don't know. But Fade is like an Apex Legends YouTuber that I, I, I quite like. He's very, very good. And I watch sometimes. Once a week. I don't really watch YouTube. I haven't, I haven't turned my computer in on in a fucking four days. No, I was going to say a week. It was about to be a week. That's why rejecting people matters. So you can try to get your fucking life together. Rejecting people, ma rejecting people matters. So you can get your life together. So you can actually get shit done. If you're constantly... Like, if you're a fuck, fuck girl. You're so stupid. If you're fucking a fuck girl in, your, in their whole face. And you're around other girls in the whole face, the fuck girl face. You will not find a fucking husband. I mean, you probably will, but he won't be the husband you want. He'll be like some fat, overweight, loser, geek, video gamer husband. And uh, trust me, you don't want one of those. Probably gonna cheat on his ass anyway. Most girls do that. And most, most, girls, most guys end up complaining. Oh, it's so hard for me, and etc, etc. Because you're a fucking loser! Jesus Christ! Well, reject the people matters. Reject the loser. Reject... You, as the same thing with rejecting the loser, you reject the loser girls that will end up making you fucking making you spread your legs for some guy you don't even like. In some club, this dirty club. Just because you bought maybe maybe because you bought your drinks. The fuck is that? It's what type of life to lead is that? I'm okay with gold digging or gold digging a bit. If she if she's with you because you have a lot of money and she likes you genuinely for you and but but also because you have a lot of money and you can provide for her family and. 
you can provide for the kids coming up, sure. But if, if she's maybe just because just because of the far purely because and no because of physical attraction, then maybe 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 you got some function in your hands, right? Money should just be the cool bonus, right, guys? It just adds on attraction, but it shouldn't be. Or and for the girls, it should be like one of the t boxes to tick, like tall, handsome, or it doesn't need to. I'm not even that tall, but for for Vietnamese, I'm tall. Okay, <laughs> for Vietnamese, I'm, I'm not even tall in Vietnamese. In Vietnam, honestly, I'm quite okay. I'm not that tall. I'm just okay. But like, it's a box to tick. You know what I'm saying? It's a box to tick. Has some money, has some income, so he can provide for my kids one day, pay for the house, or he can pay for the car. And honestly, as a man. Like paying for dates, like if it, it feels good to provide, it feels good to provide. Any man who complains, like, oh man, I have to provide for dates, etc., etc. Like, I see all this shit. Uh, Bill comes, we're getting her tonight. And now, like, you're literally, how one of a brutal and attractive is that for women? Like, talking about talking about sexual matters in a public space where there's a fucking waiter right there. Oh, we're getting her tonight? Am I getting late tonight? Am I gonna fuck your pussy? Am I gonna be inside you tonight? No. Like, like a, a responsible person would respond? No, split the bill. More unattractive. I, if I was a guy, I would not fuck you. You are brutally unattractive. Anyone that says it's a joke, sure. But that shit is brutally fucking unattractive. I, I advocate being a gentleman all the time. And I only would go on a date that, that, uh, with a girl that likes me anyway. Normally, it's just cool bonus. Yeah, I pay for that. I don't care. I feel good when I provide. I feel very good when I provide. I feel very happy when I provide. I'm, I'm there to pay the bill. And she's there relying on me. Every man with some sort of testosterone, right? That doesn't have fucking 200 uh, milligrams per deciliter in the bloodstream of testosterone. That actually has like 400, 500, 600. Feels this way. Feels that provided to a way. And if you don't feel that way, you're probably a fucking soy boy. The way it goes. And this is why rejecting people matters. Like, if you're around beta male loser cuck simps, you become a beta male loser cuck simp. That's it. And people use that, oh, only beta male use the word beta male. Shut the fuck up, bro. You know what I mean. I'm saying it purely for this example. Not necessarily because I believe this in that, uh, in that beta male alpha male paradigm. Okay? Shut the fuck up. Shut up. Stupid. If you're, if you're a, a, a fuck girl around the fuck girls in that whole phase, or the whole phase shit, it is incredibly difficult for you to find a husband. You'll be one of the fucking women that are 30 now. It's going to be struggling to find a woman, a uh, husband. And it's going to suffer. And guys... Oh, guys, they have, they have time, but most guys, they, they say they have time, and then they just, oh, I'm tired, but I'm back on the video game. I'm shooting on both agendas in here. I'm both sexist. I'm not 100% sexist. I'm 200% sexist. Both agendas. Not rejecting people matters. I refuse to be around these type of people. I hate them. Not necessarily because of them themselves, but the choices that they've made so far. They could have been in the same position. A lot of people that are like this are like, oh, if I got bullied in my past, etc. Et Why do you care about your past? I don't know what cares about your past. The fuck? Stupid. God. God, you sound broke, boy. He's rich, loud, sound, sound. Oh, and I know. Okay, I'm gonna go.